All right, and uh, orange right here on your map is your wind. I've got a south wind right now gusting to about 25 or 30 at times. So I've got the wind warming things up. We've still got some clouds around, but we're going to get some breaks in that cloud deck and temperatures go from about 70 to about 75 or more later on today. So with that gusty south wind, we're not only warming things up, but we're adding humidity. We're adding some moisture, some juiciness, some fuel for thunderstorms, and I think wind damage is going to be our biggest concern. Still can't rule out tornadoes because these storms initially may be spinning. So when I'm talking about storms rolling in, we're already seeing them well west, but as they roll into our air that is getting more and more fueled or more primed for thunderstorm development, they're likely going to develop and get even stronger. And when we're talking about things getting uh, primed for severe weather, the ingredients growing, that's when the National Weather Service or the Storm Prediction Center normally starts issuing watches. Watches mean things are favorable. Warnings mean things are happening. So we're going to get very favorable over these next couple of hours. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a tornado watch that's issued for our area. There's already severe thunderstorm watches in effect for most of Michigan, and that's as this line gets in to our area that's getting more and more unstable. Right now I got a couple little showers around, mostly dry, just a few light rain showers. There's that watch box for Michigan that popped up, severe thunderstorm watches for them. We're gonna have a little different scenario. We've got a little spin to the atmosphere, and I do expect these storms to likely have some rotation with them, meaning the potential for a tornado or two. It's possible, definitely can't rule it out. Numbers will warm into the mid, if not upper 70s. That's warm enough to fuel these storms. As we get closer to that evening, commute, the individual storms will likely grow together into a larger line, and that's why that wind damage threat is so much higher than everything else, because these storms tend to bow out like that, and they'll start to create uh, those stronger gusts. On the back side of it, which should happen quickly, it just pulls out of here very quickly. On the back side of it, we dry things out pretty quickly, and we cool it off quite a bit as we get into your Thursday. I mean, a significant drop, 15 degree drop in, in a day, right? will drop even more so after Friday's rain chances. You ready for it? I've got highs in the 40s and low 50s both Saturday and Sunday. All right, you can bet we'll be watching this forecast all day long.